What do you get when you take evolution, mix it with God's inspired word? <laughs> Theistic evolution. Welcome back to Wretched, because so many Christians for so many years have felt the pressure of authority figures telling them, hey, God didn't create the world. It evolved all by itself. They have felt a great deal of pressure, I understand, to somehow harmonize and blend the two together. My concern, however, is you've taken man's theory without God, mixing it with God's inspired word, and you actually create more problems than you solve when you try to harmonize two conflicting concepts. Recently, Kevin DeYoung, he's a Presbyterian, don't you know, he came up with a nice list of the problems that we actually create when we're trying to solve the problem of how can we possibly harmonize evolution and the Bible. The list is made up of 10 problems that we make when we try to do this. Here's problem number one. Adam and Eve would not be the first human beings if God evolved the place. They'd just be two Neolithic farmers among about 10 million other human beings on earth at that time. You see, this here book says Adam and Eve were the first. This theory says, no, they weren't. See the problem we create? Here's another problem with theistic evolution. If it's true, Adam was not specially formed by God of dust from the ground, but had two human parents. Again, in an effort to try to deal with the whole age issue, you've got details in the creation account that he was created out of dust. Not if this is true. Problem number three from Kevin DeYoung. Eve was not directly made by God of a rib that the Lord God had taken from the man, but she also had two parents. If this is true, and that's why we can't smash it with this book, which actually is true. Oh, why are we here? Okay, so this is what I was thinking. <laughs> okay, so right here, what do you think? I think you're nuts. No, seriously, we'll shoot it right here. No, seriously, we're not. It's very artsy. It's very dumpy. Hey, I got an idea. Let's talk about the Protestant Reformation, seeing Europe, going to Luther's house, Huss's house, in front of a garbage dump. Maybe we should put the product actually in the garbage dump, and then it'll smell- John! One!